Well, it's the night before we plan on leaving to go back to Dickie's yard to pick up some of the cars that we've decided that we want to bring home. If you don't know what I mean by Dickie's yard, you've got to check out a recent upload where we take a crew down and pick up a handful of cars for our friend David Newburn. After Dickie's sudden and tragic passing, we were given the absolute honor at some of the cars that he had collected over the years, mostly being known for his 40 Fords and 57 Chevys. He built hundreds of cars and had quite a collection. We are so thankful to have a chance at some of the cars and really excited to return. We've also decided to potentially punish ourselves by pulling a trailer with the new OBS Power Stroke Ford that we just bought. And uh, it seemed that simultaneously when we decided to use it, it decided to start acting up. Um, it died a couple of times on Aaron driving around town and earlier when we went to crank it up, it died right upon crank up and then was slow to start. So we stopped and grabbed a fuel filter for it and we're gonna replace that and cross our fingers that that makes her run well. And maybe still take it tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> Well, it looks pretty nasty. This headlight has that, that strobe effect in my camera. Mm. I'm about to make some noise because I gotta wind it out. So it'll draw fuel. Yeah. Pump fuel through there. No. There's just air trapped in the, the fuel lines, or in this case, the heads to the injectors. You can look at the gear shifter. You can see what I'm feeling and hearing. That is definitely air in the system. It smooths out at higher fuel, but There it went. Yeah, we got it. We blew it out. Look at the shifter now. Awesome. Yep, it's clear. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yeah, like when you rev it up now, Totally smooth all the way through the RPM, man. Perfect. They got it. Yeah, that there shouldn't be black in there. That's just sludge and algae. Good job, that's Aaron. why it wasn't sorting. Nicely done. Thank you. So she gets to go now? <laughs> I'll drive it in the morning. Okay. 
well, I guess we'll see in the morning if that truck gets to go or not. We've got the big trailer that we took last time that will go behind Mr. Blueberry, the blue F450. And we've got just a single car hauler that we could put behind the OBS should it be lucky enough to be able to go if uh, Aaron feels good about taking it tomorrow. We will see in the morning. As always, it's an adventure and we're glad you guys are with us. Well, it's a new day and the OBS has a trailer behind it. So it's looking like we're gonna hit the road very soon. Aaron ran out. Both of these trailers that we're gonna be taking belong to his dad. So he ran out and got this trailer this morning and he's gone right now getting the singer, single car hauler. <laughs> Maybe I need more coffee, but let's not pretend that I don't usually have trouble with words. Anyway, um, he is going to be getting back here soon with the single car hauler and then I will be driving the F450 with that trailer and he will be driving this rig. So, it's gonna be exciting. Hopefully everything stays in one piece, like tires and trucks. <laughs> hmm, this looks exciting. Hmm, cool. Alrighty, it's here. About time to go. The rigs are cranked up. Aaron's right back there. We're taking the dog with us. And we will see y'all when we get um, to a truck stop to put some air in a tire and fuel that rig up because we're only operating with one of the fuel tanks and it's small. So we're gonna have to make a lot of fuel stops. So, yay. So we made it to our first fuel stop, which is about probably close to 100 miles from home. The truck's working, it's doing pretty good. I've, I've got a downshift anytime we're going uphill. That trailer weighs about, what was it Emily, 11,500 pounds. It's a heavy trailer, but as long as I downshift in the Ford and I don't lug it too much, it seems to be doing okay. It's not a hot rod like this Ford, like the one Emily's driving, but it, it's working. The only issue we ran into is it has two fuel tanks. The back fuel tank is leaking diesel pretty bad. So once we get back on the freeway, I'm gonna flip over to that back tank, burn some of the diesel out of it. Assuming it works, who knows? It may shut us down, but but then switch back to the main tank. But we'll get there. It's not overheating, it's running good, so I'm digging it. Awesome, babe. All right, so that's our update from our first stop. <laughs> All is well with that pickup, but uh, we'll see. As we continue down the road, it'll continue to hopefully work well and we'll make it there 5.30 or 6. <laughs> Doing good. said he got 15 and a half miles per gallon in the OBS. <laughs> That's awesome. That's quite, quite a lot better than we expected. Let's not pretend that you guys haven't watched hundreds of driving road trip montages along to some good music that I myself have edited a handful of times. Um, let's just snap our fingers and be there. How about that? <laughs> we made it. <laughs> yeah, we're not at Dickie's. It's a little past seven and while it's still light outside, our sweet friend Bill wasn't there, and so we did not want to inconvenience him to be at the shop this evening. We are going to meet him there at 8.30 in the morning and start loading cars up. Tell him what you just found. Well, the 
the shackles that equalize these axles are completely gone. They just vibrated, whatever, rubbed through. So this torsion piece is not doing its job. So this act, this uh, leaf spring is sitting right on the frame. Yeah, and it's been like that for a while on your yeah. dad because it's got a like yeah. pretty big divot on the frame of the trailer. But the challenge is it won't keep the axle straight and you can see it on the tire here. Yeah. That tire is pushing back, so. Ay, ay, ay. Things are never easy. <laughs> Jeez. Yep, that's how it goes sometimes. Finley? What the heck, dude? What the heck, man? Yeah, you napped all day, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Dang. <laughs> all right, we just got checked into the hotel and now we're gonna go find a tractor supply so that we can buy a new shackle. And uh, I think Aaron's going to get up his normal early in the morning and come out here and replace it. Yeah, I'm normally awake by about 5 in the morning, so while she's getting her rest in. We sleep in. We need our beauty sleep. Well, I'll come out here and fix it. If you we can find them. You set up a time lapse and we'll be good. Uh, it'll be dark. <laughs> so we'll see. Well, y'all are going to have to miss out on that shackle adventure then. Mm -hmm. Going to make it happen. Yep. Oh, that looks right. All right, we had us some dinner. The rigs are in good parking spots, and it's time to call it a night. Got a couple of chick beers. Uh, and, watch calories. And we're gonna call it a night and see y'all in the morning. Because this is a swing axle, he had to take both the tires off just to be able to get the shackle into that one leaf spring. So, <laughs> what a pain. Yeah, the leafs are above the bracket. Yep, above Let's the centerpiece. Aaron's so awesome tried to help him but he said no it's jacked up in a dangerous way and I don't want you anywhere near it so <laughs> he's so awesome all right off we go to the yard Aaron's such a boss he got the trailer all fixed up we were able to have breakfast I even got a coffee from Starbucks I actually got matcha I'm a big fan of matcha. And now we're headed out. We only have about seven minutes till we get there. So I'll see y'all shortly. Are the hinges just ru rusted out? The entire door is rusted out. Oh. got spark plugs in it so it might not be locked up in there. Uh, it's, it's locked up. It's got a warning.
I mean, I think this is going to be decoration for the yard. What? No. You see what parts they have. With all the windows. You said the door wasn't broken. I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah. It pretty good right here. Oh yeah. All messed up. Oh yeah, look at that. It seems like that could be shaped though back out. Oh. Enough work, it will. <laughs> oh buddy. Here's another one here. This is probably his parts car. That hinge is kind of busted in the same place. This one's got a dash though. Yeah. But there's a spare dash right there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's beat up too, but it's better. Oh yeah. Cut it and weld it in. Yep. Oh. But I hate to like sacrifice one for the other. But I guess that's the name of the game. That's why this yard is the way it is. There's Michael's truck. I love that wagon. But I mean, it fit, I mean, it fits it good. This rear, this is a glass. That's all your garnish moldings. That's probably everything that goes with this car, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. That's everything that goes with it. Now you want the air conditioner vents because well, if you ever made one of the air car, then that way you can make your factory. Mm -hmm. That's probably the reason you had them in there. There's a lot of glass there too. Yeah. So this is a car I really like. It seems super complete. It's got all the glass in it and it's all pretty good. It's pretty straight. The bumpers seem pretty good. It's a storage building for fuel tanks. <laughs> oh, but I love it. This side's straight too. Dang. I know, I wanna buy the whole yard. Dang. Oh. There's another uh, front clip for Elko. Look at all these pieces. Oh my goodness. The thing about that 40 yeah. is, is it, you know, there's that bad dent in the back. Yes. So trying to rehab that car. It's a would lot. be a challenge. That's a lot of work. It's a lot. But for the price, I mean. Yeah, it's hard not to get it. Like you said, the fender's probably yard art, bucks. but still, it's like so sad not to save yeah. it. I love the patina on this one. Like that teal patina is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Dang.
enjoy that. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> These guys are the best. Okay. How long do you think it's been sitting here? At least 20 years. Oh. It's still gonna be close over here, y'all. Yeah, we're gonna clear. Yep. Uh, go up a little. And now it is time to clear a path in the yard for a very special car to see daylight for the first time in a very long time. She's coming out of the barn. So she's a roller, but she doesn't have steering. So we'll just kind of have to push the tires around and think. Get her on out of here. I guess he's afraid to, well no he had no both of them so I guess he's afraid the roof is going to fall. <laughs> Do we need it's to take ahead. this back window out before we start rolling it? Is it in danger at all? Oh well, yeah. It's loose. It's loose. It's loose. Yeah. Right. <laughs> then I just, just dust the cars for the Yeah, that way you can get all miles. the dust out of the car. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking awesome.
glass to load up. So I'm not the best at strapping cars down. I just wrapped this one around the axle and uh, gotten it cinched down. And um, I know there's a huge controversy in Xing your stra straps versus um, going straight on all four corners. But I don't like the way the strap is rubbing against the leaf spring. I don't want it to compromise the strength of the strap over time. Compromise the strength of the strap. That was kind of a tongue tie. Um, so I just saw this hole in the uh, frame wall, so I'm gonna move it there. Yeah. All right, I think I got my car down, strapped down on the trailer and safe. I'm gonna go check on Aaron. How you doing, babe? Good. Let's strap these doors later. <laughs> All right, y'all. We've got everything loaded up, strapped down, and we are heading out from Dickie's now. Uh, we've got a return. We've got a bunch of parts we have to pick up for David Newburn for the 57 that they're going to be doing an episode on soon. But for now, we're rolling out. We're calling this visit complete. Wow. We've got Michael Square Body, the 40 Ford, and the 57 out of the barn loaded up and headed back to Flying Sparks Garage World Headquarters. <laughs> Dang. So some of you may be wondering, all of you may be wondering why we put the little trailer behind the bigger truck. And that answer is pretty simple. Aaron is a gentleman. He didn't want me to have to drive a truck that was more difficult. And he didn't want me to have to drive a trailer that was bigger and more difficult. So while I've pulled a lot of trailers, I haven't pulled a lot of 40 foot trailers that are 102 inches wide. Like that's a job. And he was like, I don't want to do that to you if I can avoid it. I'm going to try to pull the big trailer behind the smaller truck and we're not home yet, so I don't want to jinx it, but it's working out. Um, Finley and I are in the <laughs> plush, beautiful truck and um, all is well. So that should explain why we have the bigger trailer behind the smaller truck. <laughs> Aaron's just awesome. I've got it so good in this beautiful automatic seats massage you super duty. Poor Aaron is back there with a manual transmission with synchronizers that grind even when you double clutch it. <laughs> oh man, the joys. Hopefully it stays in one piece. That's all we can hope for. Yay! It's been a good drive. <laughs> it's been a really good drive. 
I don't want to jinx it. I don't have any wood to knock on, but it's been really, really good. The weather's been wonderful. Traffic was only a little bit with that 32 one. 32 miles, continue straight. 32 miles. And then we're home. Can't wait. <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying before he interrupted me, but we're doing good. Look at that dog over my shoulder. What a dork! You back there with the windows, Finley? Yeah? <laughs> short short stay in the backyard by the fury oh my gosh oh. all right ladies hang out for a sec okay well we are out at Aaron's parents house they've got a uh, big truck yard out here where Aaron grew up working on heavy diesels and his dad has a forklift and so we're gonna be able to unload our cars out here until we make them rollers so we can get them back to the shop. Back on the ground. <laughs> Michael, it's ready for you. <laughs> now it's time to pull the 40 off. <laughs> Now that we have these cars home, it is time to make a plan for each of the builds. I do want more cars from Dickies, and we will have to see when it's time to return what we feel like we can bring home. As y'all know, we've committed to a bunch of builds over the past few months, and we definitely uh, have overwhelmed ourselves. We already have too many projects. <laughs> I counted up 21 cars. And that's not counting the boats and the airplanes. So 
Um, we definitely have bit off a lot, but thanks to you guys subscribing to this channel and supporting us in all the ways that you do, we do this full time now. So we really don't have a ton of excuses as to why we couldn't build these cars and get to enjoy all of them for all the different purposes that they have. So I'm so grateful to be in the position that we are and we have you guys to thank. As I've said so many times, we're so grateful you're here and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode.